Well, helping somebody move might be one of life's rite of passages. It's not easy. And one challenge is trying to find a place to park during the process. Wave News troubleshooter Mark Stevens says one towing company appears to be particularly aggressive in a major co Tim Heil was helping his daughter move to a new apartment before her final semester at Western Kentucky University. He contacted the troubleshooter hotline because the day he was helping his daughter load their truck and the U-Haul, the apartment complex's towing company booted his pickup. I live here by myself. All my family lives in Louisville, so to move in and move out, my family has to come down here and help. WKU senior Natalie Hiles' family was clearing out her apartment at the Midtown Complex earlier this summer. My clothes, my bed, my dresser, um, the sofa, the bar stools, all of that. Most stuff was headed to storage before this fall semester. Some was coming back to Louisville in her dad's red pickup. We had the U-Haul parked in this little center strip over here, and then my dad's par my dad's truck was in this empty space right there. She says for anyone watching this parking lot, it would be obvious to... No, we what? were moving out. And yet... And my dad went ahead and took upon himself to carry the mini fridge down the stairs. Roughly halfway down... I have a refrigerator in my hand, which is in this truck now, and I see somebody laying underneath my vehicle, and I didn't know what was going on. His truck got booted. He got upset and called police. I have three vehicles here, and I'm in the process of moving stuff out. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to move stuff out? I know so many people that have gotten booted. The rep for Scotty's Towing and Recovery said, "Pay up or get towed." Ready. Hey, your tow is our yeah. And the police told Hiles' dad there was nothing they could do. Managing the contracts then to patrol their lot, so that's what they were doing. Other students and a neighboring business all told me Scotty's is very aggressive, often parking their wrecker at this building next to the lot. One student said her mother got booted, helping her move as well. And no, it's not their policy to park here. I'm not parking here overnight. I'm, I mean, it's obvious I'm moving. It's legal in Kentucky for property owners to hire towing companies to patrol their lots. Scotty says all the proper paperwork with Bowling Green. City records show Scotty's towed 39 cars from this lot during the first half of this year, including towing five cars on February 4th alone. We wanted to know how many times Scotty's boots cars, but Bowling Green doesn't track that information. No parking in landlord lease or own parking spaces without appropriate parking pass, but that doesn't say anything about move-in or move-out days. Hiles' landlord requires cars in their lot to display parking passes. No temporary passes are given. But Scotty's enforcement seems erratic. The body camera video shows Hiles' U-Haul wasn't booted, even though it was in, clearly in a handicapped space. And when we were gathering footage, Scotty's didn't boot a pickup and cattle trailer we saw taking several spots being loaded, or scrappers dumpster diving, or even other parents loading their cars. No one answered the door at Scotty's headquarters or returned a message I left. Midtown's manager didn't return my phone calls either. So somebody sits in this vehicle? Hiles dad swiped his credit card to pay the 110 buck boot removal fee. She turned in her key and finished moving out a week later, making sure any car she drove had a parking pass. Well, trying to move out of an apartment is a little excessive, trying to tow my car. When the city regulated booting operations three years ago, it was mostly concerned with ending companies booting a car's passenger side. Cars were getting damaged when people tried to drive away, not knowing their car had been booted. The city attorney's office told me it has not reviewed Scotty's practices. Mark Stevens, Wave News.